In this video, we're going to look at the basics of contract law. So the first question is, what is a contract? Uh, and a contract is an agreement between parties that can be enforced by law. So there's two things there. First of all, it's an agreement between parties. And the second one, enforced by law. So for example, with a construction contract, the agreement is between the principal and the contractor. The principal wants uh, something built, say a road, and the contractor wants to build it for him. The contractor will build the road and the principal will pay the contractor. So that's the basic agreement. But obviously there's a lot of other stuff in behind it. What type of road? How big is the road? Uh, how long uh, does the contractor have to, to build it? What sort of materials need to be used? So there's a lot more than just um, that, that simple interpretation. And it's enforced by law. So the contract says that the contractor has to build the road in a certain way. If the contractor doesn't build it like that, um, then he is in what is called in breach of the contract. He is not doing what he has agreed to do. And if it costs the principal money, then the principal can uh, sue the contractor for the, that breach, uh, for those damages that have been caused by the contractor not doing what he's supposed to do. So that's what it means by enforced by law. So a contract uh, covers the rights and obligations of the various parties. So a right is a justified claim or entitlement, freedom to do something. These are the things that need to be in place for the contract to actually be done. For example, the contractor is not allowed to go onto the principal's private property if it wasn't for the rights that were conferred upon him in the contract. So the contract says you, the contractor, is allowed to go onto the principal's property and build a house if that's what the contract's for. So that right to go onto the property and do work on that property has been conferred in the contract. He wouldn't be able to do it otherwise. Likewise, when the work is underway, the principal has the right to go and inspect the works to make sure it's being done properly. Uh, if that right wasn't conferred by the contract, then he wouldn't be able to do that. He wouldn't be allowed to go on to another person's construction site and you know get in the way or, or do inspections and stuff. So once again, the contract uh, specifically gives him the right to be able to do that. Uh, and there are a lot of other rights and um, in a, in a contract document. Uh, an obligation is something that must be done as part of the contractual agreement. So for example, the most basic uh, obligation of the contractor is to build the contract works as specified in the contract. So if he's contracted to build a road made out of certain materials in a certain period of time, that's what he has to do. Um, the obligation of the principal is to pay him for it. So that's the main obligation. But uh, as with rights, there are a whole lot of other obligations in a contract, in an engineering contract. Um, that have to be um, met. So why would both of those parties go into a contractual agreement? Uh, the first thing is that the contract provides a mutual understanding of what the agreement actually is. It's all written down in one place. If it's not written down in the contract um, document, then it's not part of the contract agreement. An engineering contract is a very complex thing. There's a lot of uh, things that have to be done to build an engineering project. Now, if it's a road, um, how thick does the base course have to be, um, what sort of subgrade does it need to be, what is the surface, how wide is the road supposed to be, uh, where is the road to be located, when is the road to be constructed by, all those things are part of the agreement and, um, and more. So it's quite a complicated thing and it's good to have it all written down, it needs to be written down in one place. Uh, it details the rights and obligations of each party, so we've talked about that. Uh, and it protects both parties. The contractor uh, knows that he uh, has to build the road. Uh, he, the client, the, the principal, knows that the road's going to be built. The contractor knows that he's going to be paid for the work he does to build the road. So he doesn't have to go to court to prove that. It's already in a contract document that says he will be paid to build that road. So in engineering, contracts are the way that we deliver project deliverables. Engineering projects are complex, they're expensive, uh, and they're complicated. So 
an engineering contract is required in most cases to be able to produce those engineering deliverables that we produce as civil engineers for example roads and buildings and bridges and all those sort of things. The main contractual relationships for client uh, when we're talking about um, contractual relationships the client is usually referred to as the principal. Uh, the consultant is usually referred to as the engineer or the consultant. So there's a in a DBB project there's normally a relationship a con consultancy contract between the client and the engineer. Uh, the engineer is responsible for doing the design and making sure that the, the work is constructed properly. Uh, the client pays them for it. Um, the construction contract which is what we're going to look at for the rest of the uh, session is between the client, the principal, and the contractor and that is for the construction of the work.